Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7 a.m. I'm up early. Good morning, Simba. Simba looks like he's still sleeping. Good morning, Splash. How are you today? Good morning, Boo. You're doing your morning stretches? The cats just had their breakfast. They had an early breakfast today. They each got one and a quarter scoops of the homemade raw food along with maybe the equivalent of like a quarter scoop of the primal raw rabbit bites. And Stella, Splash, and Simba all ate their food really fast. And Boo wanted to eat on one of the steps, but he would not eat his food until I put some kind of bribery food on it. So I decided to put his favorite chicken pot pie baby food on top of it. I thought it'd be something different than like crunchies. So uh, he really has been enjoying that since I put that on his food. And I don't want to disturb him, so I'm just kind of sitting here right now. Stella's in the litter box. Boo wanted to finish his food in the kitchen, so I brought it up here. And I did use one of the crushed up chicken bites on top of it to encourage him to finish it. When I just prepared Hydrox's breakfast, I'm going to bring that out to him. The minute one of the other cats comes upstairs, I feel like they're going to distract Boo from his meal. So I might just stay here for a second before I go out for Hydrox. It is 7.15 a.m. and I just went outside and I put some warm water in the kitty cafe and I also put Hydrox's raw food in the kitty cafe. And I am very much off schedule today. Normally I wouldn't do that for another few hours. So Hydrox is obviously not expecting it. So I did not see him outside. I'm assuming he's sleeping in the shelter or he could be out hunting um, because the sun literally just came up. So um, yeah, I'm hesitant to put raw food out when I don't see him because I don't want other animals eating it. But you know, I'm not gonna be here able to watch him for the next few hours. So it's either put it out now or don't put it out, so. It's about 9.30 a.m. right now, and I just got back from running some errands a little while ago, and I had the back door kind of open, and all of a sudden I looked, and Hydrox was sitting by the back door. So I just went outside, and I took the bowl of food that was in the kitty cafe, and I just brought it over to Hydrox. For some reason, he likes to eat on this side of the patio. And uh, so it worked out really well because the raw food was in the kitty cafe, which is heated. So it's now nice and warm, even though it's been outside. And uh, Hydrox is having his breakfast. Hydrox is not a morning cat either. None of, the, none of these cats are morning cats. It is 4.38 p.m. right now, and I just got home. And Hydrox is outside the door, and Boo's inside the door. And I don't have any raw food to feed Hydrox because I need to make more. He had the last two scoops of raw food this morning. And I went to Trader Joe's today, and I bought more chicken. But I need to make his food. Like, I need to put it in the food processor and add the supplements and do all that. So I probably still have like a half hour of daylight. So I could try to do that really fast right now. It'll still be cold. The food's gonna be cold. Maybe if I add some warm water to it. The last time that I made raw food for Hydrox, I had one package of skinless, boneless chicken thighs and one package of skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Now, when I went to the store today, um, I tried to get the dates that were farthest from today. So these chicken breast strips have a date on them that is like seven days in the future. And that was the uh, farthest date. So I thought those would be the freshest. And then the chicken thighs have a date that is four days in the future. Um, and that's the best I could do on those. And 
Um, I bought double the amount of meat that I used last time because I know Hydrox liked the food, so this time I can make more of it. I'm putting on the apron that Zoa sent to me, and as I'm doing it, Stella has been chasing these, uh, these ties. She thinks it's a toy for her. It is 5.08 p.m. and I just finished making Hydrox's food. So right now I am taking some out to him. I just gave Hydrox the equivalent of maybe two and a half scoops. I gave him two really big scoops with a bunch of water. And there he is, he's ready to go eat. He's still afraid of me. Not that one, the other one. Yeah, I hope he eats it. It is really, really fresh. I mean, that food li was literally just made. The inside cats don't like it when I just make their food and I give it to them right away. They like it better after it's been frozen and defrosted. I don't know if it changes the texture or what, but Hydrox really loves his food. And the only thing I forgot to put in there was additional herbs. And I also wanted to put a few more ingredients in the food itself. Okay, which I'm gonna go and mix in now. But other than that, I tried to recreate exactly what I gave him last time. The two other ingredients that I wanted to try in today's food uh, is some parsley. So I just sprinkled on some dried parsley. It's probably a quarter of a teaspoon, a half of a teaspoon most. And I just ground up about a two inch piece of zucchini. I wanted to add this also. One of the reasons why it has taken longer than expected to make this food is because of this. Do you see this? I have cats like standing under my feet the entire time I'm trying to make this. It's Stella, Boo, and Simba. And when I move over to the laptop where the recipe is written down, it's like I'm going to step on them. So uh, that has been taking me longer than anticipated. The other thing that took longer than anticipated is assembling all of the dry ingredients, measuring everything out and mixing that together. The quickest part is like processing the meat. Right now it's 5.15 and I just looked out the back door. I expected Hydrox to still be eating his food, but his bowl is empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up uh, the food with these other ingredients. And I'm going to give him a scoop of that and let's see how he likes that. I don't want to feed him too much at once because I don't want him to vomit from overeating. But, you know, Hydrox is a big cat. So he has a big appetite because he also lives outside. And uh, cats that live outside use up more calories, especially in the cold. I just came outside and I gave Hydrox another scoop of the raw food. I mix it up with water and this one has herbs in this batch. The minute I came inside, Hydrox went back to eat his food. So, he doesn't like it when I'm too close to him. And of course it's dark out and it's cold out, so maybe if the weather was better, he would tolerate me more. But let's see if he eats this batch. I mean, it seems that he likes it. Zucchini is pretty flavorless. So that should not affect the food, but it should help add some natural fiber to it. Parsley is an herb that is beneficial for the kidneys. And I did research on it and it is safe for cats. Obviously in small quantities, um, you don't want to put large quantities of any kind of herbs in cat food. And also for any kind of vegetables or any kind of non-meat matter you only want to put small quantities in the cat food you don't want it to be um, like a large percentage of the cat food cats are obligate carnivores and they have to eat meat for their health hydrox hears something in the distance but it looks like he's enjoying his food and this will be the the last scoop of food that i give him because I don't want him to get sick from eating too much. The first serving I gave him was a full bowl, like that whole bowl was full. And then this was like half of a bowl. He's also getting a lot of liquid in this, so.
The next thing I need to do is freeze this new food in portions and clean up the kitchen. I just scooped out all of the raw food and what I'm doing this time is estimating three scoops per portion. So three scoops would be breakfast, three scoops would be dinner, and this tray with 12 scoops would last for two days. So all total, this batch of food made 10 days worth of food for Hydrox if he gets fed three scoops per meal. Today I spent $28 on the four packages of chicken. Two of the packages were organic, um, that was the white meat, and then the dark meat, that was not organic, it was just all natural. So for the four packages, it actually cost me $27.97, but we'll round that up to $28. And then if we factor in all of the supplements, let's add another dollar or let's add another two dollars we'll estimate it at more than what it probably is so the total would be thirty dollars now it made ten days worth of scoops if we factor in three scoops per meal it also fed him dinner so that would actually be ten and a half days but we'll just estimate this at ten days so if we divide by ten we then get three dollars a day and if we divide that by two for breakfast and dinner we would get a dollar fifty per meal so that would be a dollar fifty per meal for homemade raw food versus the cost of canned food for hydrox now if i was feeding him friskies which is fifty cents a can that would be the equivalent of like three cans of food, which is like way more than one cat would eat at a meal. But if I was feeding him, let's say, um, Sheba, which is like 89 cents for two perfect portions, and each perfect portion is only like one and a half ounces, so it would cost me a about a dollar thirty for three of the perfect portions and let's say one scoop of the homemade raw food equals one of the perfect portions so it would be like three perfect portions so it would be like a dollar thirty versus like a dollar fifty for homemade raw food with much fresher and better ingredients and it's raw it's not cooked so um yeah I uh, I feel okay actually making raw food for Hydrox um, I don't think um, that it is uh, terribly expensive versus spending money on canned food. I just gave Stella a sample of what was left in the bottom of the pan, like the pan that I mixed the food in. So I just kind of scraped together all the bits that were left over and I added some water and she's the one who's been really under my feet the whole time. So I just gave her some to try and it looks like she likes it. There's a meaty bit that she just picked out. There's no bones in Hydrox's food. I put the eggshell powder in instead of the bones for the calcium. But some of the connective tissue from the chicken is quite chewy for them. Here comes Splash. Is he going to want to eat her food? Now one thing I learned today is never make raw cat food when the cats are hungry. Like they want their dinner and they were all just like very much underfoot the whole time. Well, Stella really likes this. The cats are eating their dinner. They're each getting one and a quarter scoops of the homemade raw food with some of the primal raw rabbit bites. And today I mixed in three of the little cat spoons full of pumpkin puree. 
Whole Foods had cans of pumpkin puree on sale for 99 cents when I was there the other day. So I bought two cans and I mixed them into their food before I served it to them. And the reason why is I still think they're slightly constipated. Like I don't think the poop is coming out the way that it should come out. I know that sounds weird. But when you scoop a litter box, you know, poop should be there. And especially if you only scoop it once a day. And it also should not be in little round balls. If you see poop in little round balls, you know, that's a sign of, like, constipation. In the time it took me to put the pumpkin puree in the refrigerator and to wash out the bowl that I defrost the food in, Stella, Splash, and Simba all finished their meal. It looks like they really enjoyed it, which is good. I was worried that with the pumpkin in it, they might not eat it, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. Boo is still working on his meal, but we know he eats slow. Thank you for watching this Lucky Thurls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.